This anointing has not come on me in several years, but it's here today. Hallelujah. I've got a parable <clears throat> that's to be spoken out and acted out. And it just so happens I need someone who has some experience with contracting. So, Brother Dean, would you help me here for a minute? It'll be simple. Just turn around and face the people. Hallelujah. Just pray in the Spirit for a minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll have Dean do the acting and I'll explain what I'm having him to do and why. Now you've been around a lot of contracting, so you know what it's like if, uh, when a brick mason works and you know, how he handles a trowel and a brick and all of this. Imagine that there's a brick wall in front of you and you're a brick mason and act like you're building that, putting uh, bricks on there. So go ahead. Yeah, about like that. That's okay. Don't get any on your student. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to hand you another brick and I want you to take this brick and hold it up first and look at it. Now, shake your head no and throw it back over your shoulder. Even as you have seen here done just now, that is what happened concerning my son. For the builders were building what they wanted and the edifice they wanted to build and the natural and spiritual temple they wanted to build that they thought would honor me. And my son came from glory to be the one they built that edifice around. And they examined him and they looked at him and they said, he does not fit. He does not play our games. He will not play with our religious traditions. He will not bow and seek the applause of men. He will not walk in criminality and evil and ego as we walk. Therefore, we cast him away. He is the heir. Come, let us kill him. But the stone that the builders rejected, I took and I raised from the dead. Hallelujah. And I made him the chief cornerstone. Mm. Yes. And those of you who want to walk with him, you too are living stones. And this is what you are to do. You are to line yourself up. <coughs> with the perfect example of my son. Follow the plumb line of integrity that he set. Follow his words. Glorify the son and build your life in conjunction with the pattern that you see of him written in the word. This is why some of you have not fit. You've tried fitting in different places. But a lot of times, men were building according to their own ideas. You didn't fit, so you got cast away by men. But that does not mean that you've been cast away by God. Just as my son was cast away, and I raised him up, so am I raising you up.
And I'm sending you not where men want you, but where I want you. Amen. And you should say, this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands and praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you.